Well, Jamie, first of all, welcome, I say, back to Scotland camp. You're, you're invited to train. You're now back in, in the squad on a permanent basis, or based on merit. Obviously, you've been playing some good rugby, which we'll talk about your, your Glasgow performances uh, in a little bit. But I just wanted to maybe go a bit further back to the start of your, your rugby journey. You know, Inverness, you, you started your rugby journey up there, uh, up at Highland. How did you get involved in the game? Was it was it anyone else in your family playing, or did you just decide to play with off your own back? Yeah, so I started up um, when I was in primary school up close to Inverness, and I think just a couple of my school friends had been playing for a couple of years in the minis there, and they just asked or invited me along and just said, I think you'd enjoy it. I was playing a lot of other sports, but I hadn't given rugby a go. So I just went along with them and really enjoyed it. So played in the minis there for, for a couple of years while I was still up there. Obviously played in the, the tournaments on a Sunday and the whole lot, so I really enjoyed that. So you, you played at Highland for, for a fair bit and then you moved down to, to Merkiston. You know, Merkiston's produced a whole host of, of, of Scotland alumni, you know, with Sam Hidalgo Klein, Scott Steele, Fraser Brown, to name, to name just a few. How much rugby did you get out of, 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 of Merkey and how much did you enjoy your time there? Yeah, I love my time there. Obviously, rugby's a, a big part of the school, but I moved down mainly for the school side of it. I used to play a lot of tennis when I was younger, so I joined in the tennis academy as well. So it was, this, it was a balancing act between playing the tennis, obviously the school you've got, and the rugby and everything else you've got going on there. But um, yeah, so obviously that's where I sort of progressed my rugby right from when I joined aged 11 up until my, my last year of school a couple of years ago. So um, no, I really enjoyed it and played all the way through, through the age grades, age grades at school. And then it got to the point where I had to decide between sort of tennis and rugby what was gonna what was gonna work alongside obviously the the schoolwork and exams that were starting to happen, and I just decided that um, rugby was gonna be much more enjoyable. I much enjoyed the team element of it and that, so I'm I'm glad I've made that decision and stuck with it. So you played tennis, and I know it's a, I know it's a different game, but table tennis is usually quite popular in the team rooms at both Scotland and Glasgow. Does that help having that background of tennis when you're playing table tennis, perhaps? Yeah, well, obviously, I think tennis obviously helps in the table tennis, but also I think it's helped a lot massively with the rugby. I think in terms of like hand-eye coordination and footwork and speed skills, change of direction, a lot of those skills that can't be coached really, I think I picked up when I was really young on the tennis court. And that's, that's helped me massively growing up and, and on the rugby field especially. So, Merke, and from there you, you kind of moved into the more regional and maybe the the kind of the academy structure around Scottish rugby. So you, you mentioned age grade as well. What what other players, you know, were you playing with? Or I know you're, 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 you are young, but what other players did you play with at, at age grade level? Yeah, played with a lot, of, a lot of good players. So at school, actually, we had a really strong year. So Matthew Curry, who's been invited to train with the squad here at the moment, he was in my year at school. So we played for five or six years at school. Also the likes of Dan Gamble, who's my year at school as well. He's made his... Edinburgh debut this last year, so he's got a few appearances for them. And then in the in the Scotland 16s and 18s, and uh, boys like well Rufus McLean's another one who's made his Glasgow debut recently, and he was a year above me at school, but played some national stuff with him. So a lot of a lot of top class players that I've been lucky enough to share the field with growing up, and now seeing them progress as well on the field has, has been class. So let's look at Glasgow now. You, you you played last weekend and a good performance by yourself as well. You seem to be really enjoying uh, the game time you're getting just now. You've also been surrounded by some great scrum halves there in Ali Price, George Horn and Sean Kennedy. But just t talk us through how much are you enjoying your, your, your rugby at Glasgow at the moment? Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving every opportunity I get on the field and even the time that we spend on the training park. As you mentioned, there's obviously some great other scrum halves there that I've, I've learned a lot from coming straight from school. I was obviously quite a bit, it was a big step up and I needed that sort of, that mentoring from other scrum halves, seeing what they do off the field, how they act, up, how they act off the field and play on the field. There's a lot of, a lot of skills that I can, I can add to my game from seeing that and spending time day in, day out with them. But I'm loving, I'm loving every chance that I get and, and that's, that's been amazing to have, have some game time this last couple of years. And on the back of that, you know, rightly so, you've you've been brought in now. 
you know, we said at the start you were originally brought in just to, you know, for training, invited to training, which in itself is is you know, hugely beneficial to you. But now you're you're in the squad, you know, you've been brought in on a permanent basis. And I believe you may have missed the call from Gregor when he when he first got in touch. But just talk us through how that whole process worked out and how Gregor got in touch with you. Yeah, so as as you mentioned, I was invited to to train with the squad, get some experience the first couple of weeks building up to the Calcutta Cup and actually got got a wee trip down to London from that and I got to experience the win down at Twickenham, which which was amazing. Yeah, actually I missed the call from Gregor on the Saturday, I think. But he left a wee a wee voice message on WhatsApp just asking if I'd be if I could come back across to join the squad um on the Sunday night. And I kind of just thought it was uh, an invite to train like I had been the first couple of weeks, but then spoke to the team manager the next day and he, he said that I'd been promoted to the full squad, which is just a nice surprise to get.